When everything around me got cloudy, the chair became a king's throne. My destiny found me. It was clear why the struggle was so painful. Metamorphosis, this is what I changed to. And God, I'm so thankful. Unexplained pain. In eighth grade, I called middle school. I played basketball for my school, Little League Baseball, and Junior All American Football. During the summer of 1999, a lumping swelling developed on my right knee, and I began to walk when unexplained pain. When I was 14. When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with a knee cancer called osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is the most common bone cancer, and accounts for 3% of the cancer that happens in children. One of the few cancers that begin in the bones and can spread elsewhere, usually to the lungs or other bones. This cancer usually affects teens who experience a growth spurt. Boys are most likely to have this cancer more than girls, and in most cases, this cancer involves the knee. Doctors quickly order chemotherapy treatment for me due to cancer being at stage one. Stage one cancer is small, very treatable, and has a high cure rate among cancer patients. Chemotherapy is an anti-cancer drug that is designed to kill cancer cells within the human body. Chemotherapy, it broke me down mentally, spiritually, and physically. Had to endure many unpleasant side effects such as nausea, vomiting, hair loss, and weight loss. On top of that, I had to do imaging scans, blood tests, and physical exams. My chemotherapy treatment regimen consisted of being at Loma Linda Hospital for three, five, and seven days every other week. This photo that you see here, I was in a hospital, hooked into an IV pole, with my grandmother and uncle by my bedside. While doing my chemotherapy treatment regimen, I had to get a knee replacement. I learned how to walk with an artificial knee with help of physical therapy. During my freshman year, I only got to attend the first week at Silverado High School in August 1999. Some people walk in each other's shoes, I carry mine. I was able to return back to high school during my sophomore year. It was a difficult adjustment for me because I was still getting used to having a knee replacement. After school, I decided to do my own physical therapy because I wasn't able to run, and I was determined to try out for my high school basketball team. Mind over matter. In my junior year of high school, I felt like I was finally cancer-free at last, and I put my cancer battle behind me. In 2001, I made the junior varsity basketball team and was looking forward to having a successful senior year of high school. I made the Victorville Daily Press newspaper with my story of being a cancer survivor and for making a high school basketball team. In 2002, I made the summer league varsity basketball team and looking forward to having a successful senior year of high school. But why fight the impossible? During this time, my state of mind was, oh my God, here we go again. I was devastated when the cancer came back. The cancer came back in my right knee at stage four. So at 17 years old, I had to undergo chemotherapy all over again. Stage four cancer is the most advanced, most difficult cancer to treat because it spreads within the human body. While doing my chemotherapy treatment regimen, I had, while doing my chemotherapy treatment regimen, doctors ordered a biopsy. The MRI showed that the cancer had traveled to my right lung. A needle biopsy was used to take the cancer off of my right lung, thank God, which was a success. According to the American Cancer Society, lung cancer accounts for more deaths than any other cancer in both men and women. An estimated 155,870 deaths are expected to happen this year in 2017. The New Beginning. This photo displays the last day I can walk on my own two legs. There's nothing further doctors can do but amputate my right leg to save my life in 2003. Now I'm a hip amputee and I can only walk with a prosthetic leg. Becoming a hip amputee. After my surgery, I began experiencing phantom pain, which was extreme pain when my right leg was amputated. Although my right leg was no longer there, the nerve ending continues entangling, cramping, heat and cold pain signals to my brain, it made me feel like my right leg was still there. This experience was the most difficult for me to deal with because I had my right leg my whole life, and after a few hours of surgery, it was gone forever. This photo displays my first physical therapy session when I became a hip amputee. 
This photo displays me taking my first step with my new prosthetic leg. And this photo displays when I got my first sleeve for my prosthetic leg. The difficult, life-changing adjustment. It was difficult for me to deal with the realization I was going to be physically disabled for the rest of my life and only be able to walk with a prosthetic leg. I was insecure because all I really wanted was my real leg back. Inspiration from video games. I had a connection with the infamous video game franchise and superhero Cole McGrath. Cole's an ordinary bike messenger who gains electrical superpowers when the package he delivers explodes. I feel my story is a superhero story, so it made sense to compare my story to my favorite superhero, Cole McGrath. I felt I knew what Cole was going through when electrical superpowers were forced upon him, but I was forced to have knee cancer twice during my teen years. The game helped me make a decision, think positive and do something to help myself, or stay in a dark and depressing place because I didn't have control of my situation. There is a reason why Infamous is right here with me. The original Infamous was released May 26, 2009, which is two days before my birthday. And during a comic book cutscene, Cole says, outside things were bad, but inside, inside me, something was beginning. Cole was forced to control electricity, just like I was forced to have knee cancer twice during my teen years. Cole was in the hospital, hooked up to an IV pole, with his girlfriend Trish and best friend Zeke by his bedside. Similar to me when I was in the hospital, hooked up to an IV pole, and my grandmother and uncle by my bedside. And at the end of the cutscene, Cole said, but with time I'm learning to control it, master it, just hope it's not too late. Cole eventually mastered how to control electricity, just like I eventually mastered how to walk with a prosthetic leg. How Infamous saved my life. The Infamous franchise showed me whatever happened to me in the past, it cannot be changed. But I have the choice to do something about my future. The game gave me everything I've been looking for ever since my right leg got amputated at 17 years old. Accomplishments. Graduated from Victor Valley College with an associate's degree in local arts with an emphasis in journalism in 2008. Finished my undergraduate studies at California State University in Long Beach won a bachelor's degree in journalism and a minor in Africana studies in 2012. From my experience, I learned it's important to have a plan and not run away from problems because being prepared is fighting half the battle. And when you feel passionate about something, feel something in here and not up here, follow your instincts because nothing is more powerful than a made-up mind. My name is Daryl Ritchie. And you can find me in cyberspace at commonstrong.net. Thank you.